Oh, <laughs> how are you guys doing? Uh, good morning. Okay, it is about I think nine or something. I'm not very certain, but it's nine something in the morning, guys. And guess what? I'm actually making lunch. So today I'm cooking something which is a bit unique as well. So I decided to share. But first of all, before I even share, have you noticed my nails? <laughs> Tell me it's nice, please, please, please. <laughs> yeah, I hope. I think I'm loving it, guys. Yeah. Please let me know if it's nice. So guys, today I'm cooking a kale. In my language, this is called a kale. I'm not sure if you're really noticing the leaves or you've ever seen this, but uh, I think some of you have ever seen it, if I'm not wrong. First of all, people say it's medicinal. I'm not very sure about the medicine part of it, but all I know is it is very, very delicious, guys. And that is the reason we're having this for lunch today, guys. So welcome back to the channel once again. I am Eunice, of course, and this is actually Pride, guys. Um, <laughs> are you subscribed? If you're not, why are you even not subscribed, guys? Mm, please subscribe already. And if you're already subscribed, guys, thank you very much for the love. Continue sharing and watching the video, guys. Um, of course, we are still in our Christmas season, we are still doing the street sharing as well. Meanwhile, um, I just have a small challenge with some of the videos that we recorded when we are sharing, guys. We have a little bit of copyright issues because there were some copyrighted songs playing on the background. So we are trying to work it out. But in case it fails, you might fail to see some of them. But I have them already. Uh, meanwhile, if I, if I still do more, you're surely going to see them, guys. I'm planning still to do more. So let's hit the kitchen already. Guys, what we do is we cut this into pieces. That's why you're seeing me arranging them like this. Yeah, so I'm arranging this to cut. So guys, is it called chopping or cutting? Which one am I doing? <laughs> I'm not very sure, but I'm going to do one just right now. But I think it's chopping, if I'm not wrong. So guys, this is one of our traditional dishes. Meanwhile, I don't know how you guys do it, but of course for us, when I say traditional, you already know peanut butter is a must. So that one, don't be surprised when you see me adding it here. Yeah? <laughs> I told you there is no traditional meal for us without peanut butter. Hmm? Yeah. That's what I mean, guys. So, for me, if I hold it like a bundle like this, it makes it easy to cut. So, I cut off this first part. So guys, like I told you earlier on, we call this a kale in my language. How about you let me know what you guys call it? That is if you know it, yeah? Please let me know how you guys call it. And as well how you guys cook it. If you cook it the same way like I'm just going to do right now. Meanwhile, for us, um, which is not a must, but we choose to mix it with dodo. This right here is called dodo. Oh, vuga. Guys, so in English, um, am I sure of this? Marat? or something i'm not very certain please let me know how this is called in english yeah but we mix this into the kale uh there's a way a kale alone is i don't know is it bitter yeah it's bitter so if you cook it alone there's a way it turns out bitter so for the bitterness this right here is the antidote guys it kind of cools it it calms it down it calms the bitterness down so we mix that the dodo inside it just to make it not so bitter yeah and so i'm going to cut the dodo as well and cook together with this so guys the first time we put in these small pieces it catches fire really fast before I can add the actually this is a leftover from yesterday you can't see <laughs> it burnt and just kind of remained after the cooking I pulled it out so I'm just going to put these ones back we don't waste it <laughs> if it remains we start from there the next time
So guys, I'm going to put the water to boil. This right here is water. Then I'm going to add in some salt. So let's leave it there to boil before we add in the sauce. See guys, the water is actually boiling. So I'm just going to wash this vegetable and add it in it. So guys, remember I told you that this vegetable is actually the, uh, the one I chopped first is actually bitter so another solution to the bitterness is you don't cover it when it's on fire it kind of cools it down as well so you leave it open you leave the pot open and covered in other words and remember I added some salt in the water before so I'm not going to add any other salt until the cooking is done Alright, so let's leave it here to boil again. Let me just add on my firewood here. And as you can see on this side, there is some sweet potatoes also getting ready. So I'm going to serve this with sweet, with sweet potatoes. Meanwhile, alternatively, you can serve with cassava or omelette bread. Yes, but for now, because you know I have sweet potatoes in my garden. So <laughs> it was the one I could access first, guys. So I've decided to serve it with sweet potatoes. Yes. All right, let's leave it to boil, guys. Guess what? It is time to paste, guys. But the thing is here, when we are pasting, we don't add even a drop of water in it. So even the soup which is in it, you drain it off. So that is exactly what I want to do. I want to drain off the water before I can paste. Some of it is already remaining here, but for this one, that's a, that has poured here. Let me first drain off the water, then I can add it back into this one. Oops. So, guys, as I do the pasting. Can anybody out there please let me know what okay how medicinal is this vegetable for those who know it yeah uh, I've always heard people say it's medicinal but I don't know for what particular illness exactly please go ahead in the comment section and let me know how it helps live alone getting satisfied or the nutrients which we all know how is it medicinal like what exactly does it treat yeah please let me know in the comment section guys so of course we are going to add this one back here. Of course this one, <laughs> it's obvious by now it should be used. Like I always say, so we're going to add in the paste. I don't know if you're able to see clearly and this is the reason I always love I prefer to cook in a saucepan because I, I'd want you guys to see it well but in a pot like this um, I'm not very sure if you're seeing it well but hopefully you are so 
so you can imagine soupless sauce eh? like it is totally without soup actually the paste is little let me just add in a bit suppose to have any little even just a drop of soup i should say <laughs> you can imagine but it's really tasty guys oh meanwhile please let me know how you guys cook it for those who know it here yeah? i'm very sure for anybody who has tasted this sauce the way i'm cooking it your mouth must be watering by now am i lying <laughs> And like I told you guys uh, some time back, this is specifically for pasting only. You don't use it for anything else. So it mixes really well. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. I don't know if the camera is really giving you a good color of this thing, guys, but woo! <laughs> For somebody who knows this, like I told you, your mouth must be watering. You cannot deny that. You cannot deny it. Of course, for somebody who has not tested, will not have the idea, like, will not know what I'm talking about, but you out there who knows this one, mm -mm. aren't you drinking water by now? <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> Just put it here a bit. Of course, I'm going to test the salt. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to know. <laughs> mm, I think let me open this to be cooling because I will not want to waste time again. Let it cool there. And you know how the oil from the paste is coming out? Oh my god. Whew, I don't know what word again will describe this, but for now, let me just eat it. Mm. Told you, soupless sauce, guys. Soupless, completely soupless. very hot of course this one My saliva is just dropping on its own. I can't help it, guys. Mm -mm. It's too much. I think I should even just eat the sauce without even the sweet potatoes. Oh my god! If you need to eat, please, please. 